All right, so earlier during the day, I brought you guys a video specifically talking about this black male teacher, right? So online, I came across some information. And again, I try to be as transparent as possible so that everything can be directly out there. So people can, you know, figure out the, the, the story, you know, try to come up with their own conclusions and different things of that nature, right? So this woman said, I give up trying to find, um, find it on his TikTok that app confuses me and he may have deleted it i'll just say this is him allegedly making a inappropriate stitch of a high school girl's video if this is accurate this is wrong so again i'm going to i'm going to have to narrate in a sense over it i'm going to formulate it into a gift uh so that we can in a sense see what is specifically inappropriate with this video and see what else other people have assessed about the situation. So in the clip here, the person stated, hey, I only mess with emo boys. And then it snaps directly into him with the uh, 2000 era emo hair. And he's singing and he's singing Panic at the Discos. Uh, Haven't you people ever heard of closing the gosh darn door, right? So then one person stated this, I don't believe he knew that the girl was underage. I believe that he just responded to the TikTok, but if or when he found out, he should have saw the inappropriateness of the video and taken it down. Or maybe he never found slash out, didn't care to find out slash through the girl was older or thought the girl was older um, or right. Another person stated that the account that posted it went private, then deleted the entire account off of TikTok. It's not a good look. Another person said, okay, after too much research, she's either 18 slash 19 right now, 2024, which means that she was 15 or 16 when that was made back in 2022. Looks like what he did was a part of a trend going around, but he definitely should have guessed she was younger. So again, I just want to state, um, I, I'm not going to assume of what it is that he knew or in a sense did not know. Um, as a guy just looking directly at the video and knowing TikTok, I know that whenever you happen to have a stitch or whatnot or whatever, you will have people deciding, okay, let me just, you know, play along and make a stitch of my own so I can generate some views or whatnot or whatever right? That's how I'm looking at it. Cause again, this is a trend that I've seen millions of times on TikTok. It does not matter the age of the individual directly on the video. People tend to make these stitches and they'll just move on about their day. If it happens to generate views, it does. If it doesn't, they'll move on and to the you know next thing or uh, whatnot, whatever. Um, but for the original person to make the, the video, and then deleted that one is a little bit odd i'm not exactly sure why the original person would um you know delete the video and um i've gone directly on his uh TikTok as well um and you're going to see some videos of that a little bit later um and i could not find this specific uh stitch and or response another one so later on, somebody took these two screenshots. I'm not sure if this was specifically from his page or it might have been a few a for you page. I'm not sure because, again, I can't seem to find uh, those specific videos that correlate directly with this. Right. You see the response where somebody stated for the uh, emo video that he did. Somebody wrote that she's 16. And then another video, you see somebody um, writing a message stating how the teacher could you know teach them anything right but a uh response that somebody had up there stated that what did he do shaking my head many people didn't know her age she had then uh put it because she always had on a mask you are reaching so again i'm not sure if this is again i can't even find this person's page don't even know who uh the original person is who made the emo video um page no longer obviously is not in existence so i can't attest or give any type of proof to basically show oh yeah the person's age was directly up there or 
when they specifically decide to state their age or when they decided to put the age um, directly up there to notify people. So the other thing that I wanted to do again, because you had a lot of people that wanted to specifically try to call the, um, the teacher, you know, a variety of things, right? They want to try to insinuate a variety of things is which I showed in a live stream through the comments from both uh, TikTok and off IG also by way of a woman that has a TikTok platform. And she wanted to try to throw some insinuations directly out there without any type of proof. So the only thing that I could at least try to do from another angle is to showcase that he has at least done over the years from in between a 2020 up until a 2024 there are some videos directly up there um that he has done a reaction uh to and i just wanted to showcase that and these are a variety of ages and again i i don't know the specific ages of the um the, the the females directly in the video but again is to show the fact that this is something that you know he has done he's done reactions directly on his tiktok doesn't matter the the age that is directly up there reactions you know a stitch reaction however it is um has directly taking place so i'm just saying for me from how i'm assessing the situation i'm not looking at anything as a nefarious type of deal again I'm looking for things that are concrete. If, if you had somebody come out and specifically state that this happened and this happened and this happened and this, then that's a whole different story. But again, we're not dealing with any of those things. We're not dealing with a headline where it states that students said this. We're not dealing with headlines where the other teachers and the superintendents basically, you know, do this. We're, we're, we're not dealing with any of those headlines. We're dealing with assumptions and we're dealing with the public opinion, um, you know, again, which is very, very dangerous because um, none of the people out there have any type of proof. They're going off of whatever, in a sense, flimsy evidence that they have. Again, nothing is concrete, because if any of these people were to try to add any of this stuff up and then try to prosecute this man for what they suspect, they're not going to make it like it, it's not even going to make it into a courtroom. They're going to be laughed directly out of there because there's nothing again 100 percent concrete so you know again for anybody out there again people are free to you know disagree directly with me i just want to try to put everything out there so if people do have their judgments or their opinions or their feelings you have a little bit more information to go directly off of so that you can you know use whatever you know critical thinking or uh whatnot that you have in order to um I, I guess in a sense have a a better opinion or at least more information so that the uh, opinion or the judgments can be that much more um you know complete so anyways like i said before i'm gonna do my best to keep you guys uh posted and to bring as much information um you know as possible um directly about uh this teacher and you know everything that is going on but uh let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i stated directly in the comment section below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video